Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, DOPA for short. This is the place where we we'll make learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't get to miss any new content that we drop. Alright, let's get started. So today we're going to be dealing with the mitochondrion. The mitochondrion. The mitochondrion is one of the very special, important organelles in the cell. Look at it here. It's represented here. Okay? So there's a nickname that we have given to the mitochondrion. And you know what that nickname is? It's called Powerhouse. It's known as the powerhouse of the cell. Why? Because that's where a lot of energy is produced, is generated. Remember that before a cell can function, it needs energy to power all the different biochemical reactions that you have there. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this. That's why we have enlarged it so I can see into more detail about the mitochondria. All right, so cells that are very active. They usually have more mitochondrion than the rest. For example, the heart cells. Okay, the heart is all continuously beating from the day you were born till now. The heart has been beating. So, an organ like the heart, the cells of the heart, they have many thousands of mitochondria. But cells that are not doing so much work, like fat cells called adipocytes, they have very few mitochondria. So the reason is very clear logical so now let's look at the structure now this mitochondrion has two membranes okay it has an outer membrane you see it has been cut open first of all it's it has a fair a spherical shape or elongated shape you can also say sausage shape if you like okay so it has been cut open so that we can see inside so this one here indicated by this red is the outer membrane okay outer covering then it has another covering the inner covering that is this here and that inner covering is thrown into folds as you can see and it's called cristae those folds and the reason is simple in order to increase the surface area for a lot of important reactions Okay, so a lot of reactions take place around this inner membrane. That's why it's folded. All right, so then the intermembrane space are just between the outer and the inner. Then something very interesting and surprising the mitochondria in itself has its own DNA. This strand here, that's its own DNA. And we know that. Amongst all the cell organelles, the one noted and recognized as having a DNA, the information center, is the nucleus. We've seen that before. But now, mitochondria is having its own DNA. Very important. There's something I'm going to talk about this mitochondrial DNA as it relates to women at the end. All right? So don't go anywhere. Now, look at the matrix. The matrix is this inner part, okay? That's, it's like equivalent of the cytoplasm. When you have this outer part, this space, intermembrane space, you now have the inner space where you also have ribosomes. Of course, you know why ribosomes are there. Anywhere DNA is, protein synthesis, ribosomes are the ones involved. So they are ribos so they are located inside the matrix that's the inner space okay covered by the inner membrane all right so that's basically what you need to know about the structure so now we are going to be looking at the functions of the mitochondria because apart from being a powerhouse there are some other functions okay we are going to be looking at especially one very important function all right so we are looking at that after this break
right welcome back so now we're going to be looking at the functions two major functions okay two major functions we're going to be talking about but the first and the most important one from which it got its nickname the powerhouse is this now the mitochondrion is important in generating a lot of atp now atp is the energy currency of the cell and there is no other place where this atp can be generated in such large quantity except the mitochondrion because the mitochondrion by from its structure it has been engineered and shaped in a way to release this energy okay so look at what happens now there are two parts this crystal like we said that a lot of reactions happen at these folds okay that's why they are folds to create more surface area for reactions the reactions that happen here there are also reactions that happen in the matrix so in the matrix the reaction that happens there is called the Krebs cycle the Krebs Krebs cycle also known as the tri carboxylic acid carboxylic acid cycle also known as citric acid cycle okay we're going to learn all that in biochemistry so those are the two things in this matrix this Krebs cycle happens there that produces the substrate the material needed to generate energy because glucose that's where energy is generated from glucose and so on it's broken down through glycolysis and then it now enters the, the end product of glucose of glycolysis enters here to go through that tricarboxylic acid cycle this Krebs cycle which now generates the substrate that will yield energy to drive the synthesis of ATP okay so the one the reaction that happens in this uh, is called oxidative phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation phosphorylation okay it happens in this crystal so it's just talking about the fact that you need oxygen it uses oxygen to add phosphate to setting of all those uh, chemical compounds all right so that's what happens so when it generates a lot of atp okay then the atp is now exported out of the mitochondrial and it now enters into the cytoplasm so you now have readily available atp to power all the numerous chemical reactions that happen in the cell so atp has a high energy phosphate bond so when that phosphate bond is broken a lot of energy is released that powers so that's but to make the atp itself it can only happen in the mitochondria all right so oxidative phosphorylation krebs cycle they work hand in hand to produce atp at this level that's what you need the whole details that involves transport of electrons you learn that in biochemistry and in other topics okay as you go ahead so that is that then now there is something I said, another function, it's called apoptosis. Let's write it here. Apoptosis. Okay, apoptosis means cell death that is programmed. Okay, programmed cell death, that's the cell has decided that it needs to die it has grown old or there are some faults here and there so it programs itself it's like cell suicide 
all right so the mitochondria is the one that produces that permits and decides that this cell needs to die okay and releases certain enzyme called caspases okay that leads to the destruction and dismantling of the cell right that's very important it's not a bad thing all cells will die when they are old they die and new cells continue to okay so another thing about this um mitochondria i said as it relates to women has to do with the mitochondrial dna of course dna replicates and so on leads to division so the mitochondria itself can reproduce itself unlike other organelles they cannot reproduce themselves you know the mitochondria in itself when the cell is doing more work it signals that we need more mitochondria so with the dna it can replicate divide and reproduce another mitochondria so there's something that is special now unlike the nuclear dna that when reproduction wants to happen one part it when the the the, the dna divides replicate one part comes from the father one part comes from the mother to form a new offspring okay you know all that but the mitochondrial dna only comes from the mother okay it does no one comes from the father only from the mother very very interesting and that's why scientists have been able to use that to trace lineages the origin of human populations they call it the mitochondria eve to know where humanity started from and they've been able to observe that most likely it started from africa because it's only true mothers so the my mitochondrial journey was gotten from my mother every person is gotten from the mother very important okay so that's one important information you need to know so this is what the mitochondrion do does okay provides atp for the cell i think that's basically what you need to know about the mitochondria all right so we're going to see you in the next video